Today's video, the Tarion XP Pro Camera Backpack. Here it is. It actually only showed up, uh, I ordered it maybe a week ago. So Amazon shipping is getting back to its normal routine, but I can't wait uh, to open this up. I gave my other camera bag to my mother-in-law when I sent her my Nikon D55. So that's what's in there. It's no surprise it's in the title, but I'm hoping and I think it will because it's, it's a pretty good sized bag. This is what I've been using temporarily. The backpack I sent away to my mother-in-law. I'm hoping all this stuff will fit in there. So I got two uh, two batteries plus charger. This is for the Andy Sini. These are uh, aftermarket. These are the Wasabi's. Two uh, aftermarket. Uh, this is a Power Extra battery charger and batteries. Hopefully this is all uh, focused. I got actually I have three more. I got to go pull out of the. Uh, camera cabinet. Here's my Smooth Mobile. I want to make sure I bring this with me. My trusty, uh, this is my S-Pod 203AP. Love, I've had this for, oh my goodness. It's a Vanguard. I've had this, uh, it's not light, but it's sturdy. I've had it for, my goodness, must be good eight years. Here's my uh, little uh, mini tripod, all aluminum. Mole Man. Movo shotgun mic, and there's my newer, and my new Andy Sini 4K. And of course, here's my beautiful M50 with the uh, cage, small rig cage, small rig uh, mount for the uh, Andy Sini handle, protector there for the HDMI cable. I'm gonna find out if I can leave that on or take it off. Got the shade for the Andy Sini, and then my little bag I've been using temporarily. I only have two lenses right now. I have the 55, uh, 15 to 45 on there, which I like to use. And of course, I have the uh, this is the 55 to 200. Got some lens cleaning. Um, this is a um, KNF filter. I got two of them. One's a uh, ND filter, and the other one's just a polarized filter. And I got, of course, I got some cleaning stuff in there. That's, I think that's it. I might have some extra batteries in here. But anyways, I'm gonna try and, yeah, uh, extra batteries, there they are. Get all the stuff into this. Bought it through Amazon. I'll have the link down in the description. Ooh. Get a free gift, get a free gift. So there's a step here. Nice, always nice to get something for free. Looking at the stitching, that's very important. Nice, looks like they double, triple stitched it up here, which is very important. You have a waist strap here. I don't know if I'll be using that. It goes through, so you have the option to take out the uh, waist strap. So I'll probably be doing that, but for this, uh, but for this unboxing, we're gonna go ahead and leave that open. Down here at the bottom while we're at it, it comes with a uh, weatherproof cover. Let's go ahead and uh, take, oh, they, got, they, they wanna make sure you don't lose it. That's nice, I like that. On top here, you got a metal buckle, looks like. This part is plastic, this part is metal. The top here has a canvas top. Be nice if you have a jacket. Bring a couple, you know, a pair, of, a couple pairs of uh, maybe some shirts or something, just in case you get wet. A, a light jacket, a rain jacket, or something would be perfect in here. And it's separated from the main compartment, so that's pretty nice. Close that back up, and then so if you don't want to open this, it has another zipper in the back. You can actually access the same bag, the canvas bag, through the back if you don't want to open it to, through the top. <clears throat> Extra length of strap, so if you want to put a tripod on top, jacket on the outside, 
you can cinch it down. That's pretty cool. What else? Oh, on the waist, the waist straps. Looks like you have little uh, pockets. There you go. Fit your uh, maybe car keys. Uh, I would probably put a remote for my camera or something in there. Stuff that you would need. And another one on the right side. Anchors here, some loops, some metal loops. Looks like it has a strap in the back here. So if you want to, if you have a uh, one of those rolling uh, airplane hard cases, you can put this on top and through the strap and then dolly it with you. Got a little handle here. You have two zippers. You can access the back of the camera case. I think it all goes down if I remember correctly. Let's let's double check this. But there you go. You can open it up that way through the back. You got the uh, place for your laptop. Nice, nice and padded. You have a plastic cover liner to protect everything so when you open it up everything doesn't just fall out and so we'll go ahead and take that out let's see what else let me go ahead and close it back up and I think they make a, even a bigger one than this I'm not sure uh, but that's just too much too much for me uh, I have I'm disabled I got a bad back the bigger the bag the more stuff you're gonna end up putting in it and keep trying to carry around so and I, that's one thing I don't want to do. Got two straps here. If you need to hang something from there. Got a large zipper here. Three up here. Two down here. I wonder if my. Uh, we'll find out soon here if my. Uh, maybe my. Uh, Memory card, of course, the memory cards will fit in here. Good place for your memory cards. Uh, see if my filters will fit in here. Definitely fit in here. Oh, yeah, this goes all the way down also here. So you got r room there. I keep looking at the stitching. That's the most important part. Looks really good. It's always the first thing I look at when it comes to bags. Anything you're going to put weight in and carry. The first thing that's going to go or rip is the stitching. I just want to make sure I get this in the video. And the stitching on top here. Most important parts. There you go. First place is going to rip. Around the straps. Looks good. Looks good. Here, while I'm holding the camera, here's the uh, place for a water bottle, uh, I don't, whatever, whatever you want to put on the side here. You can open this up. Oh, this is the side access. That's what it's for. Okay. It's hard to do this while I'm holding it. There's your side access. Nice. Spot for the uh, SD cards. Okay, what else? I'll close that one. Close that later. Another spot, you can put the leg of your uh, tripod in here and then strap it down. It expands. I wonder if, uh, where's my Gatorade? Let's see if my Gatorade will fit in there. There you go, see? And that's a uh, 20 ounce bottle. We can probably um, put the tripod in there. There's the, uh, the buckle is metal, but this is plastic. Let's go ahead and uh, see what we can put in here. These are all, uh, you can move these around, which is cool. The dividers, I like that. So, Pat, I hope I can fit everything in here. I just I went and grabbed my uh, 15 inch Dell inspire on just make sure it fits in here it says it'll fit up to a 15 inch laptop just want to make sure nice and snug but there it is 
there's still some play in there but it's not you don't want it jiggling around too much but yeah that's it and that's the Dell 15 inch the camera goes in the side here and you're able to pull it out on this side while keeping the backpack on your side or on your on your back you can just uh, but it's gonna be a little harder for me because my setup has a cage so as you can see here that's gonna stick out like that so it looks like I'm gonna have to break down I was hoping I didn't have to I really don't need the side entry so I, I need to figure out a way where I can put this in there without having to take this this whole setup apart there's the camera it slides right in here of course it's a little camera <laughs> so there's a lot of room look at that got a lot of room well I'm slowly figuring this out the padding doesn't go all the way around here because there's an opening right here and so I can't move it down but I'm just I just don't want my little camera to be moving around too much but I found a spot which is dead center uh, I want to protect because this is a plastic housing that's gonna go dead center and then there's a little gap there and that's a perfect spot for my uh, for my Movo Let's see. I guess it doesn't matter hey. so there we're getting there we're getting there just it's, it's taking time for now my biggest concern is of course this this is tilting so I can angle that which is great yeah, that fits in there but I am concerned I need a little baggy for I did have to take the uh, small rig HDMI apart this is just the initial setup I, I have a feeling I'm going to be rearranging this I have a, a, a speed booster arriving soon another another lens and possibly another lens so that works yep 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 these I'm gonna have to put in front because I will lose it and I forgot to mention because I found the case while I was out here I was looking for the case couldn't find it and now that I wasn't looking for it but right down here this is my uh, this is the smooth mobile this the uh, stabilizer so that's what that is This is like a plastic with mesh. They advertise this as being waterproof, especially with the uh, cover, which is nice to have. So let's go ahead and flip it around. What can we put in here? Let's see. I like to keep the, uh, the filters in their containers. Uh, there's one. Oh, yeah, I can fit a good half a dozen or more in there. So that's perfect. What else do we have? Shade for the uh, monitor. This I think I'll put here. It's lightweight. That's perfect. For right now, I'm going to put the uh, remote in here. If I was just going out for the day, I'm just going to take the batteries with me. If I know I'm coming home that evening. Um, but for this purpose, you know, maybe I'm going out for two days or something. I'm going to take the chargers with me. So let's go ahead and see if we can fit it all in here. So there's one, two, three, four. This is for the M50. And I got another one inside the house. So there's four right there easily. And I could probably fit. It, it expands a little bit. I can probably fit easily another two or three in there. This is the uh, LPE6 aftermarket batteries. See if we can fit those in there. So I know they're all in one spot. It fits. I'm just babying it. I don't like to have the plugs in. So if you can remove them, remove them just in case during transport when you're hiking, whatever, walking around. They don't uh, get banged up against each other and break the connections so I recommend uh, unhooking the cords there you go tons of room I just don't there's so much room I don't know what to do so, so the cords I'll probably put in the front again but there's tons of room still I still have a couple 
I'm hoping I could order more just in case. But uh, like I said, I got one or two more lenses on their way. So, but for now, let's go ahead and uh, put this in there to protect the, uh, my little M50. But that gives it some a little more protection. Put that on. I'll take the uh, filter off later. So I still got I still have room. I think for now I'll put the uh, lens cleaning stuff in here with the uh, sunscreen tripod. Let's see if we can fit it on this side. See if all four or off the four all three feet will fit. Yep. There, that fits. Tighten it down, cinch it down. It kind of moves on top here. Let's see if I can show you. I would probably have, I got a little bungee. I'd probably put an extra bungee on top. If I was going out for, uh, you know, hiking, I would definitely put one extra bungee on top. <clears throat> Let's do it now, actually. I got a bungee right here. Little, little bungee. Nothing fancy, I just placed it around. There. That is it. I think I got everything in there. See if it will work with the uh, tripod, don't know. There you go. Hey, it works. That's with the uh, tripod exposed. Well, folks, that's it. I'll probably spend another two hours rearranging this when I turn the camera off. Love it. Love the color. So that's it. You guys have a good day. Bye.